hi guys i'm back with another react native tutorial so the reason that i wanted to create this tutorial is because uh, one of the problems that i have faced recently uh, when i started a new react native project before the version uh, 0.77 react native version 0.77 uh, they have uh, provided the ios folder structure in objective c but after that version uh, they have moved to the uh, Swift version, uh, like they they are they are using the Swift as their uh, default iOS language. So I, uh, first I will show you the difference. Uh, so this is a project that I have just created a couple of minutes ago. So I'm using the uh, latest React Native version. So in this version, as you can see, when I open the iOS folder structure. Uh, and when I go to the uh, project, uh, the folder with the project name, you can see the Swift file uh, called app.delegate. So this is uh, this will uh, tell you that this has a Swift base uh, iOS uh, project folder structure. All right. So, uh, but in the previous versions, uh, I will open another project. So this project, uh, I think uh, it is in, uh, let me see, React Native, yeah, 7.3.2. Um, so this, uh, in this version, you can see, uh, you can see dot h file and dot double m file means uh, this uh, project is structure is in uh, Objective C. All right. So, uh, but from now on, we have to work with the Swift base iOS folder structure. But the thing is, the problem that I faced is uh, when I try to integrate the splash screen with the uh, mobile application, uh, the splash, the docu uh, the configurations that they have provided with their documentation for the iOS only compatible with the uh, object you see. All right, I will go to the uh, React Native splash screen uh, documentation. Yeah, so this is the React Native Splash Screen library. Uh, there is another library called uh, Boot Splash Screen. So that library has provided uh, the Swift related uh, configurations. I mean, one of the reasons that this library doesn't uh, provide any, didn't provide any configurations is because this library is quite old. Um, so that is one of the reasons, I mean, still it is better to use uh, latest libraries some uh, some I mean like the uh, using old libraries can make some conflicts uh, when it comes to integrating so this is uh, the, literally this is a conflict that I have faced but it's still I wanted to use this splash screen I mean it is not just about the splash screen maybe there will be some other libraries that you only have that option to go with so in that case, you you need f you need a way to use those kind of libraries even with a uh, Swift base iOS uh, structure. Um, okay, first I will install this uh, library. All right, I will now say yarn React Native Splash Screen, and it will start to integrate the dependency with the project. All right, guys. Uh, so I have installed the dependency. So uh, before I'm going to uh, check this part, I will just see what I have to do on the JS side. Uh, so what I have to do is um, I can hide this splash screen whenever I want. So I will call that first. Uh, let's say in app.tsx, I will. Uh, let's say use effect I'll put uh, an empty dependency and I will call this file like this all right now I haven't done any uh, iOS related configurations but I will install the pod also pod install so this will uh, install the port file for the splash screen specifically let's see so uh, since my project is in the latest react native version it, it is following the new architecture so because of that 
we are getting all the node modules with like code gen things and fabric and turbo modules all right uh yeah you see i have installed the uh port de uh, dependency for the react uh, native splash screen all right i will clear this one now i'm going to run this okay while this is happening i will open the project from xcode as well because we have to do some uh, things in the xcode which is something we can't do in uh, vs code i think react native rnt rnt is my project name and you can open the ios folder directly from that project like this all right let's minimize all right so uh, the application is running i will start the application uh, let's see all right so as you can see the splash screen is coming and it's, it is hiding after a second all right so we are assuming that uh, it is happening because we are using this line right so now i'm going to uh, come in this line now let's see what will happen still we can see the splash screen is going away so that that means uh, this uh, command doesn't have nothing to do with the splash screen okay so that means we haven't configured our uh, configurations with, within ios side properly i mean we haven't done any configurations so this is a common issue we faced when it comes to integrating the splash screen so now we are going to uh, integrate the configuration first i will try to import uh, the rn splash screen so for that i am going to open uh, i have already opened xcode i will do that configuration in uh, xcode's uh, site um okay rnt and in app delegate swift file i will try to import rn let's see are we getting any okay i will type r with r we are getting this um suggestion but we are we are not getting rn splash screen uh, uh suggestions okay it because uh the swift file can't actually detect the uh, port file i mean within port file i think we will be able to see the a uh, react native splash screen okay it's here react native splash screen yeah, even though uh, even it is here but still we can't use it in the app delegate file all right so now what you have to do is it's something like this so you have to somehow find a way to connect this library with uh, swift file so we are calling this Uh, a bridging technique so our file uh, our dependency has written using objective c but we have to find a way to connect that objective c dependency and use it in the uh, swift code all right so for that um first i'm going to create a new file so the file that we have to create is an h file Uh, so using that h file we are going to uh, so that h file will act as a bridge uh, in between objective c and uh, swift code so i will create the file first so to create the file i will go back to the project and in here i can go to the ios folder rnt folder rnt is the project name and in rnt folder i will create Uh, f uh, an h file so the file should name uh, file name should start with the project name rnt hyphen bridging hyphen header dot h so this is a header file that's why i put the extension as, uh, as h and then what i can do i can uh, go back to the documentation and i can copy this 
import statement so i can use any uh, this type of code i i believe this is objective c so objective c type co uh, code we can use it in uh, the header uh, in the h file all right like this and then let's go back to the ios so in ios uh, in xcode we can't really see the uh, file so i think uh, we can connect that file so let's say add file to rnt mm, and from the project itself i think uh, we can connect that file like this add copy file to destination finish all right now it is it has been added all right um now let's uh, go to the project folder and go to the let's see build phase uh build settings okay in build settings uh, you can search objective c uh bridging actually not heading okay bridge uh, bridging header okay so in here we can define our bridging file so this file will responsible for uh bridging all the dependencies that we have to bridge like this all right so we have to like uh, do it like this so the path uh, we are supposed to set is the path of this file so the path we can say it like this dollar sign project directory slash um, then we have to continue the path from this folder rnt slash the file name rnt hyphen bridging uh, hyphen header dot h like this all right so now we have configure uh, our bridging header file all right now i'm going back to the app delegate now i don't even need to now import the rn uh, splash screen what i have to do i i can like directly uh, do the uh, changes in the uh, app delegate file so in here what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to do this uh, change now react screen uh, react rn splash screen dot show so but I, the thing is um, i can't do it like this so this is objective c code uh, I will go to this code and I will type like this uh, just about the return statement rn splash screen now you can see I can see the suggestions over here I don't need to import any libraries dot show even I can see the functions as well all right that's it i don't have any kind of errors now let's try to build the project from xcode first then we can move over to the uh, react native site all right the build has successfully completed uh, that means I think we are good to go with our project. So I will open the project again uh, All right, so in here then I'm going to run the project again I think we can even close the Xcode because we don't need Xcode anymore All right, I will type npm run ios underscore 15 I will close the app so we can see how the app should start how the app 
will start after the modifications that we did all right now the application has started but as you can see now the splash screen is not fading away like the way that we saw before it because now the splash screen is handled by the library that we have just integrated which is uh, the react native splash screen all right now j to clarify that one we can do something like this uh, with i mean without like uh, we, we can like not hide the splash screen immediately we can like add a time uh, some kind of a delay so i would say set time out so we can really clarify that we have integrated the uh, splash screen correctly okay i would say like this so after five seconds we should be able to see that this splash screen is going away all right as you can see after five seconds it has uh, went away so i think uh, now we are using uh, this library again back with the project even with the uh, swift pace ios structure i hope you guys can pick something from this tutorial and i will be back with another advanced react native tutorials if you want to know uh, something really uh, some if you have any problems and if you want any kind of solutions to those problem you can put a comment if i know the solution i will put a video if i don't know the solution i will find try to find the solution and i will put a video about that okay so i will see you guys from the next video Thank you.